what's up everyone i don't tell further news coming to you guys with a cool little video it's from my trip in uh, thailand and i'm here at the chatter chat park first time here and i'm about to be heading to the chatter chat weekend market i was here in 2018 and i'm back here 2023 check it out see who's still around a little bit of an update um i want to mix both my uh clips from 2018 and 2023 just to see the comparison so we'll see what's new and uh see how things going check out the vibe so yeah let's check it out and uh hope you guys enjoyed the video tree is called a pong pong tree and I found these uh, roots Now this park is, it's really, uh, it's very amazing, you know. I actually kind of prefer this one more than the Lumpini Park, even though it's much bigger. But you could tell like that park is more for um, mostly the city folk. And it's utilized by uh, them through events. Where here it's just mostly uh, a lot of garden space, a lot of flowers, places to sit and relax, you know, catch the shade. So I really like this one. Another thing to mention, I will be doing a little bit of commentary for some of these clips just to give a little context and backstory. You see one of these uh, paintings here. This is an Alex face painting. He's one of the most uh, known street artists around the Bangkok area. Uh, you can find a lot of his work placed around the city in little secret locations. I believe he's also on the Museum of uh, Art there. And uh, yeah, if you see it, you really can't see it. Uh, just love his work. Uh, it's really unique. So check him out, Alex Face. Now here at the Chat Chat Market, so for 15,000 stalls in 27 sections. These stalls and sections may include anything from food, clothing, antiques, furniture, gardening, jewelry, anything you're looking for, you can find it here at Chat Chat Market. And also, they have a really cool pet section. You should definitely check it out when you're there.
One thing that I recommend, and I suggest you do, that I wish I did before, was grab the map at the entrance. One thing you'll notice, you get really overwhelmed walking around inside the stalls. With all the twists and turns, you'll be double backing so much, you really won't get to enjoy the entire market because you'll be spending your time being lost like I was. Yeah, we got a cool little scene with the DJ rocking out in the ones and twos. It's a cool little place. Sit down, people watch, get some food and refreshments, and just vibe out. And here we have him. Five years later, he's still going strong, still doing his thing. Shout out to him. Uh, hope all is well.
Sorry, Kak. Sorry, Kak. Now coming up, if you've been to Chad Chat before, you should know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, you'll run into this cool chef, Mr. Fernando Andres Eusta. Perfect timing. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Just like Fernando says, stay on the show with his flamboyant and eccentric personality. You could definitely count on Fernando to be the star of the show. Cool little fact about Fernando, he's also known for cooking out of Bangkok's largest paella pan. Is that you? Yes. <laughs> but one of my favorites is hanging out there and watching some of his magic tricks. <laughs> Let's just hope that you bring enough hair to survive the tricks. I think that's why I like the Chatter Chat market so much. Find characters like this entertaining, just showing people a good time and uh, just living life. And there you have them. Five years later, Fernando's still going strong, still doing his thing, entertaining the onlookers at Chatter Chat. And also, I got to meet his Thai wife. Really cool couple. I hope they're doing well. Now, one of the coolest thing about solo traveling, or just traveling in general, is the encounters that you have with random people. Uh, it's definitely a treat. 
uh, really helps out the mind. What is your name? Captain. That's it. Captain. That's the day, yesterday, uh, the foreigner from, from French. Uh-huh. The same name. You have very nice stuff. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, are you from? United States. Boston. Boston. Oh, Boston is the how uh, the original of Boston. You have many tea, right? Tea. And yeah, Boston team. Yeah. Once a center, people. Oh, that's New York. New York. Yeah, you like New York? Yeah, I've been there. That's you? How long? Three, three hours before I uh, allowed Manhattan. Yeah. Three you see my teacher? That's you? Yeah, I finished right now. I finished from the army 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, wow. I is my hobby. My hobby. Stay here for a long time. Are you a tourist? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. How about Chiang Mai, Pattaya? Yeah, it, it is summertime. Actually, summer, yeah, winter time. But... It's still hot. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. No, good. How about yourself? Yeah. Oh, good. Be careful uh, about the food. Sometimes it uh, attacks your stomach. <laughs> you know, I came here two days ago at nighttime. And um, I just sat down. I wanted to eat something, and I went and I got uh, basil chicken or rice and an egg. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> and I ate it. And yeah. I said, oh. uh-huh. It was so hot, so and uh, I just I, I had no, a little bit of water, and uh-huh. I, I I wanted to save it because I said if I drink it right now uh-huh. and I eat the rest, I'm gonna be. Uh-huh. But it was good. It was very nice. Listen, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you, Captain. Now, upon my uh, return to the market. Uh, in 2023 and in 2019, I do know there was a fire. I uh, hope that a store wasn't a part of that uh, section that had the fire. And um, yeah, wherever you are, Captain, uh, hope that you're doing well. Now, remember I told you it was a pretty cool animal section here? Well, let's check it out.
Pineapple? Pineapple, finish. Hey, mango? No, pineapple. 200. <laughs> Now this lady, she was out of the pineapple, so I opted for the mango. But I gotta tell you something. Usually in Thailand, I can handle the heat, but this sauce or dressing that she's pouring on the mango had me begging for mercy, because wow, it was really spicy. Usually I can handle the heat, but this time, no, I lost the battle. here I had like a crab dish I don't exactly know uh, the entire ingredients but I do know it was delicious and uh, I'm not a big beer drinker or uh, I don't really consume that much alcohol but uh, yeah if it's cheap I'll take down a Leo or a Chang any day So I guess I'll end the night off with a nice treat. Get me a nice coconut ice cream. I think it's with mango. Coconut ice cream and mango. This lady really knows what she's doing. Uh, I suggest if you find her, definitely get one of these. So for that guys, I'm gonna end it here. Did you guys enjoy the video? Give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a big thumbs down. Helps my channel out either way. And leave a comment what you guys think about Chatter Chat Market. It's a place where you go see when you're here in Bangkok. I definitely would. Again. <laughs> but until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. And thanks for watching.